Well, more heavy artillery being brought in to battle the growing Okefenokee wildlife uh, or wildfire along the Georgia-Florida state line. Yeah, residents asked to take evacuation orders very seriously, but as Dave Malkoff discovered, some people are deciding to make a very risky decision. This is the only way to fight a 144,000 acre and growing wildfire. Helicopter after helicopter coming to the rescue in Georgia's Okefenokee Swamp. That is really something to see the water spraying you in the face as this dual rotor Chinook is pulling up water from this country lake. He's on his way to the fire. You can see the big plumes of smoke coming up overhead as another helicopter comes down with its big snorkel trying to get the next run. This is a mandatory evacuation zone, but that does not mean that the residents have left. Along with dozers from around the nation, there are pickup trucks in this evacuation zone. People who were asked to leave but chose to stay, like Travis Anderson. I sent uh, my wife and son on. I stayed behind. I was like, do you want to stay here? Do you, are you sure you want to stay? My dad and them stayed out there. Some of our neighbors yeah. stayed out there. So we went out there and helped them. Tom Stokesbury from the U.S. Forestry Service says that is a dangerous idea. Well, it does make the firefighters' job definitely more difficult. The main job is going to be uh, suppressing that fire. If they have to divert from suppressing that fire to save lives, which we will do, it kind of limits what our resources uh, capabilities are. Wildfires take advantage of drought. And putting it out completely may take much more water than that chopper can hold. What they say around here is we need rain with a name. Like a hurricane or a tropical storm. A hurricane or a tropical storm to put it out. Yes, yeah, so it seems odd to wish for something like that, but that's what it's going to take uh, to combat this fire. And they're trying to get to those hot spots. They are trying their best, but it is going to take a long time to put an entire 100% perimeter around this. The possibility is this could go till after Halloween. In the Okefenokee, I'm Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. And you know, this fire, not the only game in town, but definitely the big one. Uh, over 143,000 acres, in fact, nearly 144,000 acres burned 12% containment here with this West Mims fire. Look at all the fires, though, across the state of Florida. We have 30 active fires greater than 100 acres. Total acreage over 191 Florida has been having all sorts of trouble thanks to the drought, thanks to the very dry conditions. Look at the relative humidity. This is more typical of what we would expect to see in the southwest. 28 percent humid, uh, relative humidity right now in Orlando. Winds luckily light. Anytime you get a wind in play, though, makes those fires easily uh, to uh, easy to spread and also easy to get started. Mike? When temperatures are